I was just heading home and look what is in the field. Now, you know I am not a farmer and I'm not good with my crops, but I'm going to bet that this is a soybean field. And let me turn this way. And you are standing in the field with me. It is a very warm summer day. The humidity is up and the wind is blowing. I love living in the country. This is so wonderful. So here are little plants in their nice little even rows. Here, uh, an engine starting up close by. So let's see this wonderful piece of John Deere equipment. Don't you love the clouds? I think that would make a great painting. So if we went up the stairs, we would go right into that big old cab up there. There's his rear view mirror. And I am very short, and these tires are much taller than I am. Much, much, much inches, anyway. I'm guessing they may be five and a half feet, or maybe a little bit more. can do in the field. So, I got to speak last year with one of the people from our county extension and he told us, um, I hope you were with me. If not, check back on the video. All the hydraulics and that's interesting. I guess that measures the amount of fertilizer or fluid. I wasn't close enough to see that last year or I didn't notice it. So here are the different heads and um, they change them according to what's going to go through them. And here we have all these mechanisms. This arm goes this way. And this one this way. Somebody's going to be busy in just a little while. This is Sunday afternoon, so maybe they are in position to... Uh, get to work on Monday morning. This is late afternoon, so it'd be kind of late to start. A lot of things to know about when you drive something like this. And the nozzles. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, look at this uh, wonderful John Deere equipment. Take care. Bye now.